morning when the sun begins to peep over the hills, just as we think we'll roll over and take another snooze, the bugles begin sounding the orders of the day, and very shortly we hear the well-known reveille, commonly called I Can't Get Em Up. I can't get him up, I can't get him up, I can't get him up in the morning. I can't get him up, I can't get him up, I can't get him up at all. The corporal's worse than the private, the sergeant's worse than the corporal, the lieutenant's worse than the sergeant, and the captain's the worst of all. I can't get him up, I can't get him up, I can't get him up in the morning. I can't get him up, I can't get him up, I can't get him up at all. And then comes the call that everyone likes to hear, the mess call. Without a single bean, porky porky porky, without a streak of lean, coffee coffee coffee, the weakest ever seen. And we mustn't forget the horses and mules that do the heavy work. You should hear the faithful animals sing when they hear this one. And go to the stable and water your horses and give them some corn. If you don't do it, the colonel will know it, and then you will rue it as sure as you're born. And then after the day is done, the work and the drill is over, and everybody's in bed, the bugle sounds good night and sends us all into the land of Nod to dream of days that were and days that are to be, of blessings rare and world democracy. <laughs>
we have Cadet Mellon giving his humorous reading of Don Brown's body. Don Brown's body, taken from Please Don't Eat the Daisy by Gene Kerr. Like the strikes, he ankles up to me on the street, opens his big ugly hat and says, uh, Pardon me, but if you have a good time. <laughs> so I kicked him in his mouth and his teeth fell out over the sidewalk like marbles. Like I say, I don't take no slop from nobody. Thank you, Cadet Mellon. You know, that reminds me of a story I heard the other day. You see, there was this airplane pilot, and he was flying along over the ocean, and all of a sudden he looked down at his gas gauge, and it was empty. He didn't know what to do, so he radioed the tower. Tower to pilot, I'm out of gas, I don't have long to stay out, and I'm going to crash. What should I do? What should I do? Well, there was about a minute's pause before he heard anything come back. Sudden, the radio sputtered a little bit, and then he heard the tower. Tower to pilot, repeat after me. Our Father, who art in Hello, this is Richard Staymates. I hope you found some interesting images among so many. Putting this video together brought back many memories and thoughts about how. It is a part of my life and had its impact. Certainly there were absolutely fun times, lonely times, making great friendships, challenging times, and many introspective moments, and events likely to occur anywhere. It was a world much more isolated from the typical American life. I certainly don't believe I had superior teachers or there was some spectacular advantage I was gaining from my experience. Being in military high school, the solutions to problems were solved with military thinking. This is just an opinion of only one person. Many others will have widely varied feelings toward how, and that is to be respected. It seems that the 1960s was the heyday for schools of this type. In my very humble opinion, it is not a model for the coming ages. I would like the school to exist in ways that expand on diversity of people and be more inclusive of the arts. It is critical that the school incorporate virtues training as it ennobles its youth for an ever-advancing society that the world needs. I hope you leave your comments below. And I thank you for watching. First stop on our quest trip, Indiana, where thousands have shown now you can do something about tooth decay with a toothpaste. And now to Howe Military School to talk to dental scientist Burling Votaw. Frank, the cadets were the toothpaste testers, half using Crest and half using regular toothpaste. What did the cadets do? Each group brushed three times a day under identical conditions. And how did the Crest users make out? 45% fewer cavities, 
After two years, Frank, 25 to 49 percent fewer cavities with Crest. With facts like these, you can see why Crest and only Crest has been recognized as effective against cavities by the American Dental Association.